Hi, Luke from Cork here, and today we're looking at the Minilog XD. This is our polyphonic analog synthesizer with expandable multi-engine, 16-step sequencer, incredible effects built in as well. It's also available in a module, which is exactly the same, just minus the keyboard. So everything I show you on the keyboard here is relevant to the module version as well, if that's the one you're interested in. Okay, let's dive in and have a listen to some of the sounds. We've got some great kind of big pad sounds built in here. And you'll notice you have this great screen, which it also doubles up as an oscilloscope as well. So you get that nice visual feedback about any sound that you play, or when you start manipulating the sounds. It shows you on the screen what you're doing. And that's really good for when you're building sounds as well. So if we just go with an initialized sound here, just a saw wave, you can very clearly see on the screen there, you see in a saw wave, but then if we change the waveform here in the oscillator section, you can see a triangle wave or a square wave. And if we start to shape that then, you'll see that happening on the screen. Or if we filter it, it'll smooth it out. So it's just a brilliant way to explore sound and learn about what your sound looks like as well. So as well as our two analog oscillators, VCO1 and 2, we've also got this multi-engine built in, and this is actually a digital oscillator. So we can get some very different sounds from this oscillator here. And we've got some VPM sample-based waveforms in here. And then you can use the shape knob really to add some extra depth and color to those waveforms as well. You've also got some noise waveforms. And you've got a user section as well, where you can load in up to 16 external sounds, um, some user oscillators, and it comes preloaded with this one as well. Okay, so let's have a look at the filter section. So we've got this nice pad sound here. So you can go into the filter section and change the cutoff and also the resonance brings out some high frequencies but you've also got drive built in as well so let's bring in a different sound for that and i'll show you how it can sound let's turn on the drive to 50 percent or 100 percent So you can hear, you can get your sound to get, get quite aggressive if you want to. Over here on the left, we've got our voice mode, and that determines how the four notes we have available in the Minilog XD are distributed. So in poly mode, you can play up to four notes. In unison mode, it sums those into one monophonic sound. But you've also got chord mode, which is really interesting. So you can play a single note, and then it'll play a chord for you. And then you can change that chord using the voice mode depth. So if you remember anything from a basic minor chord to a major chord to major, minor seventh to suspensions to diminished sounds and all sorts. So you can be really creative with that mode. Um, you can also use this mode to turn on an arpeggiator as well. So let's show you a sound with an arpeggiator already on. And that'll arpeggiate whatever sounds I play on the keyboard. I can also latch it as well, just by flicking it down, you see it starts flashing. That means that I can take my hands off and start shaping my sounds. We've also got a 16-step sequencer built in, which is absolutely brilliant. And every single sound comes with its own sequence preloaded. So all you have to do is select your sound and then press play. 
and it'll play a sequence for you. And you can see it stepping through the sequence there until it gets back to the beginning and it'll just keep looping round. You can also use that sequencer in conjunction with the arpeggiator there as well. So if I press play, you see that it's engaged the arpeggiator. So you can get some even more complex patterns happening by having an arpeggiator pattern on every single step to get some interesting chord progressions. And as well as that, you've got motion mode as well. So if I play this sequence for you, this is a different sound now, you'll see you've got four lanes of motion on the screen and they can be different parameters and they really add a lot of movement to your sound as the sequence plays through. You'll hear that start to develop and as the sequence gets through into the second half, you'll really hear, for instance, the filters start to open up a lot more. Here it comes. You can see that happening on the display there. And then it'll close down again towards the end of the sequence until it loops around back to the beginning. Another way you can use this sequencer is in a more kind of stepped way, I like to call it. So if I press motion there, you can see on this one, you've got some kind of glitchy things happening with the filter. And if I want to change those, all I need to do is hold down the step and you can see that's changing now on the screen. So if I want to dial that back a little bit, that kind of snare effect that's been created can be softened or ramped up. But I could also select a different step the one before it, for example, and put some different motion in, and it also almost gives like a, a, a tonal change within that pattern. It's really easy to make your own patterns as well. So we've uh, selected a different sound here. That's the preset pattern that's in there, but if you want to get rid of that, all you do is hold down shift and press rest, and it's a sequence clear on the screen. We can start the sequence going, press record, And we can start playing in some notes. If we want to add some motion to that, go into motion mode. You hear that that's now recorded in. Let's put some resonance in as well. And you can see that's recorded two lanes of motion, but I've still got another two to go for any of the other parameters that I want to record into that sequence. Other ways to add motion to the sound include the LFO section. So we can take a sound like this, and you can hear that the LFO is giving you that kind of pulsing sound. We can change the intensity of that. So we can turn it on and off. We can change the rate. We can even change the waveform so we can get a more squelchy sound or a more kind of step sound with a square wave, for example. All throughout this demo, you've been hearing the amazing effects that are built into the Analog XD. The reverbs in particular are stunning. You've actually got three you can layer on top of each other, modulations, delays, and reverbs all together. So let's have a listen to this sound here. As you can hear, there's quite a lot of delay and reverb on that. To select your effects, just go down to delay, for example, and we can turn it on and off here. But we can also select different types of delays. So we wanted uh, BPM, pinging back and forth, and we can select the depth and also the time that that's happening. So then that's now kind of like a ping pong delay. Same thing with the reverbs. Go into reverb, and then we can change different types. Room. We've got all this, also these fabulous, massive, expansive reverbs like space, and then we can change the depth and the time.
We've also got things like riser reverbs. Well, you hear the frequency go up. Or submarine, which is the opposite. So you bring out the lower frequencies in the reverb. Or even things like horror, which adds extra harmonics. Okay, so as you can see, I've brought in the XD module. And the reason I've done that is because I want to show you this neat polychain function. And what that basically means, it will share the, the polyphony between two units, so you can get up to eight notes in total. And that can be any configuration of uh, Minilog XDs. It could be two keyboards, two modules, or a mix of the two, as we're doing here. So I'm going MIDI out of my keyboard into the module. That also means that I can select sounds, and this one will automatically tell this one which sound to play, which is really useful. And then to get it into polychain mode, I need to go into edit mode, global, and then go into the menu, set this one to the, to the master, and then on this one, I'm going to put this one to be the slave. And then we've got this massive eight notes of polyphony shared between the two units. So you can get some absolutely massive analog synth sounds. So as you can see, I've brought in my vocal sample, and the reason I've done that is because I wanted to show you the synchronization possibilities for different pieces of equipment. So I've gone sync out of the Minilog XT into the vocal sample. So that means that when I play sequences on both, they'll be in perfect synchronization. So let's select a pattern here. And then if I press play on both units together, they'll be completely in sync. This one's dictating the tempo. So I'm speed it up or slow it down. And it shows me on the screen there what the BPM is. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my laptop here. I wanted to show you the USB connection. So this USB connection could be for connecting to your computer for DAW recording, for example. But there's also this really cool piece of software called the Librarian, and you can download that for free. And that allows you to manage all of your sounds. So I can see them all in here, all my Minilog XT sounds. I can reorder them. I can even drag and drop them into my favorite slots really easy because um, you've got 16 favorites you can recall on the unit itself. And with all of these different tabs, I can see my user oscillators and my user effects. And we can just drag and drop some user effects into there very easily. and you've got micro-tuning as well. So you can make your own micro-tuning um, presets and then beam them back into the Minilog XD for use there, which is really cool. Other connections we've got on the back, we've got headphone jack, we've got audio left and right to connect to a sound system. We've got a damper pedal input, so we can connect a sustain pedal if we want to. Um, you've got CV, so you can connect to analog synth really easily. Sync in and out, we've already looked at that with the Volker. That's for connecting and synchronizing to different pieces of musical equipment. And of course, you've got old school MIDI as well. So you can connect to pretty much anything out there that has MIDI on it. And finally, your power. So there we go. That's the Minilog XD. Go and check it out.